Hi everyone, today at Phone Fun Shop we're going to be taking a quick look at our iPhone professional battery tester and charger. It's a great tool for testing the authenticity and remaining life of iPhone and iPad batteries, as well as iWatch batteries. So we're going to unbox it and show you what you get. So this is the main unit. It is battery powered, so it's very portable in this little box it comes in. Now the first thing you want to do when you get it is change the language to English. So hold down the button on the left and power on with the button on top. And then select English on the right. As you can see you've got a battery display there. It's rechargeable via the micro USB port on the top. As well as that you've got two iPhone battery tester boards. This one is for the 4 all the way up to the 7 Plus. This one's for the 8, 8 Plus and iPhone X. You've also got a board for the iPads, so iPad 3 and 4, Mini 1 and 4, Mini 2 and 3, and Air 1 and 2. So as that, you've got a battery test board for the Apple Watch Series 1 and Series 2. And this little standalone board, which is just used for charging and activating iPhone batteries. As you can see, it's got the activation button on the bottom there. Now I've got a few batteries to demo this with. We'll first plug in the iPhone battery board. This is an iPhone 5 battery which has been replaced. It's a used battery. So we'll connect it up and it'll detect non-original battery and that's the full design capacity of the battery and that is what is left. So it's only 39% so it would need replacing. Now we have previously reset the counter on this which you can do with this tool, just press that and it'll reset the counter to zero. Obviously this one's already been done so we can't do it again. We have got another, this is an iPhone 6 battery, which will connect up. Now this one has detected it's an original battery, however it has had quite a lot of cycles. It's only got 13% life left so it would need replacing. I can <clears throat> we can set the counter to zero on this one like so. There we go. Now we have also got an iPhone 7 battery which we're going to connect up. This is a new battery. So as you can see it's detected as original. Zero cycles and the full capacity is actually a bit more than the design capacity just because the battery hasn't been used ever before. So we'll disconnect that. We've also got an iPad battery to test so we'll unplug this board. Plug in the iPad board. May have to rest it on the table for this and then plug the iPad battery in. Detected it's original. It's had 211 cycles, which is quite a lot for a large battery like this. And it's only got 47% life left, so it will need replacing. And same again, we can write cycles to zero on this. So I'll disconnect that. It's a very useful little tool testing, um, charging and resetting the cycle count on all iPhone batteries, Apple Watch Series 1 and 2, and the iPads as well, as previously shown. It's available on our website, phonefunshop.com. Thanks for watching.